Welcome yeah. back to the show, everybody. We just showed you um, how to create a fabulous space using secondhand finds. Now take a look at the home of Victoria Dinnick. It takes vintage to a whole nother level. Oh, hi. Come on in. Let me show you around. How would I describe the decor in my house? A work of art, so to speak, because I have an art problem. And although I've been fighting my art problem for a long time, I finally just gave in. This I see, see is my brain, which is sort of scary if you think about it. A lot of vintage, including my vintage grandmother. I don't believe in anything new. Um, I believe that there's value to absolutely everything. So some of the paintings in here, I might have paid five or ten dollars for. Some I paid a lot more. So like even the shoes that I have, uh, they just came about naturally. It wasn't I was trying to do an art piece or anything. Gypsy Girls got curled toe shoes on, and I like curled toe shoes. So the first pair I found, it was a natural to hang there. And then the next pair was sort of, well, these would look good with the first. And this is what happens. They multiply. In fact, I think I go to bed at night and there's more in the morning when I come down. This is my living room, fun room, love this room to death room. Every single nook and cranny is crammed with interesting things to look at, which is where life should be. You should always have interesting stuff to look at because otherwise, what's the point? I had the fireplace put in because it wasn't here when I moved in, and I had this motto made just to go above it. It says, Nunquam mina sola quum cum sola, which means never less alone. And when you're alone in this place, you are never by yourself. There's a lot of spirits hanging out, and they're all really great guys. I also collect paintings of laundry. So, for example, this is a painting of uh, women doing laundry by a river, it's Dutch. This one is pretty fabulous, it's women doing laundry by the river in Central America somewhere. It's really hard to find pictures of laundry or paintings of laundry. I search everywhere for them and they literally are like hen's teeth. Okay, so the jukebox I have had for a very long time. It was the first thing I bought and I didn't have a washer and dryer and I didn't have a fridge and a stove. But I had a jukebox that worked and I had a mannequin named Agnes that I put in a prom dress holding a vacuum cleaner standing near the jukebox so that I could say that I had live in help. Everyone needs adventure in their life. Listen. Do you hear the adventures in there? This is my kitchen. But I think we should go out to the garden and let's see the studio. This is my pride and joy. I always wanted a studio. I had it built from the ground up. I wanted a space I could come looking out on my garden. I do office work here. I fix things for my store. I do creative projects for me. It's incredibly inspiring. Even the floor inspires me. It's a compass rose. I'd always wanted a compass rose in my life because I have a tendency to be directionally challenged. I lay down on the floor in order to get the size right. I put my hands up over my head and I said, this is how long it needs to be and it has to face north. And it does.